Hey everyone, if you want to learn how to do a floating, bouncing head like this, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On my channel I do tech explained simply and video editing made easy so that you can help publish what you love with the world. Today we are going to be tackling the special effect that you saw in the video I made about when YouTube makes you sad. So this effect makes it so that you can take a floating head and kind of bounce it around and it can be all over on screen. This is really popular. I've seen it done in like Alicia Marie's video. You've now seen it in my video. I wanna show you how to do this. This is a really simple effect and it does take a few steps, but once you have it, I'm gonna show you a shortcut on how you can do it multiple times if you need to, just like I had to do it in my video. I had 13 people and I did the same effect on them. So if I had to rebuild all of that 13 times, it would have been a big pain. So luckily I had a shortcut that made it so I didn't have to do as much work, which is awesome. I love efficiency. So let's go ahead and head over to PicMonkey and then we will go into Keynote. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're gonna go over to PicMonkey.com. You can use whatever editor you like. This is just what I am familiar with. And of course it's gonna take you to your library, everything you already have, but I'm gonna create a new project from my computer. I'm just gonna take a profile picture that you guys already are used to, and that is this one right here, and I'm gonna open this. And then, okay, I guess I'll probably name it something different. I am going to call this floating head. We'll go ahead and go with floating head and create. Now that it's loaded up, we are going to head over to the, let's see, we want the section over here with the frames. And then once we click on that, we're gonna look for shape cutouts. And I want a little circle. You could do other shapes, but I'm going with circle. And you can make adjustments to the circle size. You can, you know, like it here, uh, make it bigger or smaller. And that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna tinker with this just a little bit. I'm gonna get it to where I like it. And then the cool thing about this is when you're done with it, as you can see on the background, it actually just made everything else in the background transparent. So this is awesome. This is exactly what we need because when we export this photo, we're gonna import it later into Keynote and we need it to be a transparent background. All right, we're gonna export this. I'm gonna save it to my computer. Next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna fire up Keynote. Make sure that you select a wide presentation so it matches the orientation of your editor. Go ahead and click a blank one and delete these. We're gonna do a background color fill. We just need it in a green color. If you're wearing a lot of blue or green though, you probably wanna use the opposite color because you can do green or blue screen. So just keep that in mind. And there's my photo and I'm gonna size it down. Oops, I'm gonna try and size it down. Here we go. I can't see myself anymore, where'd I go? I think I need to make this slide a little bit smaller. I wanna see more of what's going on. I think I'm gonna go up to here, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna make my slide smaller, there we go. So here is my head and I am going to just kind of position it where I think it needs to be on the screen. Oh, make sure you have the picture selected and we're going to add some effects to it. I'm gonna do a swoosh in. Yeah, okay, yeah, I like that. Next thing, we're gonna build an action and we are going to, we're going to make it bounce and I'm gonna preview that. Yeah, that looks good and I am comfortable with the number of bounces. That looks good to me. And then I wanna make sure that it happens directly after the image comes in and then the action happens right away. So I'm just gonna say right after the first transition. Okay, that looks good when I preview it. Now I'm gonna add an effect because I do want it to kind of float around on the screen in different places. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit add an action. I want it to move and it's gonna try and put a default movement in there and show you where it's going, where it starts. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change this because I want mine to kind of float around in the screen. I think I'll probably end up making like a diamond shape. So we'll start where it is and we'll go down to the lower right hand side. We'll add another action and then we'll just have it move out to the left. And then you just hit the plus sign and you can hit an add another action. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one where it comes up and one more action and I'm gonna take it back to the beginning. So you see that little plus sign and it says what do you want to add? It's a movement. So I'm just gonna keep adding it and bam, it is back where it started and when I hit this in my build order, make sure you change it so that each action happens right after the action before it. That way there's no pause, it's not waiting for you to like click a button or anything. And then once you're good with that, we're gonna preview it, it bounces, and now it's hitting all the corners of the screen like I wanted, and it's back to its original floating position. That looks good. 
Now from here, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the file, export, export to movie, and then change this resolution to 1080p. And then we are gonna go ahead and hit next. You'll need to name your file. I am gonna call mine floating head and export that. Watch it do its thing here as it creates that video for you. All right, I did promise you a shortcut. I didn't forget, so here it is. You're gonna go with, click on the image, hit replace image. Then you're gonna select a photo that you want to replace that one with. I'm gonna select my friend Dean Nimmin over here. One thing to note, there was a different color background. I did this a different way. So I am just going to change the color of the background so it matches that same color. But you can see here that all of my steps are exactly the same. So I don't have to rebuild my action. And if I do the preview, you're gonna see it does all of the same movements, which is awesome. And to get rid of that green box, what I'm gonna do, go back to the format, the color background, I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool and then I'm just going to select the background color that they already have. Perfect, that looks good. And if I play it back one more time, you're gonna see it just looks like the floating head animation that we just did. And that's exactly what we want. All right, one last thing, we're gonna add a bounce over here. I'm gonna take out all these other actions. I just want the bounce so you can see it in the intro like I built it. Yeah, that looks good. And I think I'll make it a little bit longer, so I'll change the duration. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna export this, same thing as before, 1080p, naming the file, here we go. Now it's time to put it all together. We're gonna go open up iMovie, and there is my main video. I'm gonna drag down one of these clips. Make sure you go up to the menu, and you have the clip selected. Hit that green-blue screen, and there it is. There it is, there's my bouncing head. And I went ahead and made that other video, so I may as well put it in and show you what it looks like if you put that in as well. So I'll just put it right behind the first clip. And we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna shorten that up just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you hit that green blue screen. So now you'll see both actions. You've got the bouncing, and then you've got me bouncing around to all of the four corners. So I hope that all made sense. Please let me know if you have questions. Definitely wanna try and make sure that you are able to do this. You can always go back and watch it and I'm sure you're gonna get this. It's totally cool, I know you're gonna get it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you guys in a video very soon, bye.